in light of our new normal and and we thank you all for ease and safety. If there is anything that we can assist you. President of the Republic of Fiji, Major General. Invited guests, ladies. The Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Economy, Civil Service and Communications, the Honorable Ayaz Said Kayoum, the Honorable um, Chief Justice, Your Honor, Justice Kuwar, the High Commissioner of New Zealand to Fiji, Your Excellency, Jonathan Kerr. The Acting High Commissioner of Australia to Fiji, Ms. Anna Doni. The United Nations Resident Coordinator, Ambassador Sanaka Samarasina. The Deputy Commissioner of the Fiji Independent Commission Against Corruption, Mr. Rashmi Aslam. Thank you for the introductory remarks. Honorable Members of Parliament, the Excellencies, High Commissioners, Ambassadors, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, Diplomatic Heads and members of the United Nations agencies, members of the public, our friends from the private sector, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Sambal of Naka, Sayandra, and Namaste, Assalamu alaikum, Noi Mori, and a very good morning to you all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I'd like to acknowledge, commend, and thank Mr. Rasmi Aslam, the Deputy Commissioner of FICAC, his dedicated and hardworking team, and the United Nations Pacific Regional Anti-Corruption Project officials for organizing today's event to observe International Anti-Corruption Day. In fact, FICAC, in partnership with UN PREC, aim to enhance the International Anti-Corruption Day. Today, with the launch of our beloved nation's anti-bribery campaign, and in view of this, ladies and gentlemen, I deem it an honor and privilege to be addressing you as the President and the pillar of national unity and passionately advocating for good governance in all its aspects. On this International Aid Corruption Day, or Anti-Corruption Day, Fiji can witness the beginning of another important milestone in its fight against corruption through the launch of the Fiji Independent Commission Against Corruption anti-bribery campaign for the entire civil service and other statutory bodies with a strong team, I don't accept bribes. Very timely and apt. Now, this campaign has become increasingly important now as the entire world community is presently reeling and grappling with how to effectively contain and hopefully eradicate the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Fiji has been affected like the rest of humanity, but is very resolute and determined in its efforts not to succumb to the traumatic and devastating impact of the pandemic and is on the resilient path to recovery. And with that, the theme for this year's International Anti-Corruption Day 2020 is recovery with integrity, as you've heard. Now, this theme of recovery with integrity complements FICAC's endeavor in fighting corruption post-COVID-19. Now, in order to recover with integrity, the FICAC is launching a nationwide public service I don't accept bribes campaign during which all public servants in the civil service and such bodies will receive a badge saying, I don't accept bribes, as you've heard from the Deputy Commissioner, and I look forward to wearing mine. Now, this is an unprecedented campaign of historic importance, which speaks of our strong commitment to eradicate corruption in Fiji across all sectors. Now, this campaign has also been made possible with the support of our friends from the United Nations Pacific Regional Anti-Corruption Project, as you've heard. Now, corruption, especially in the form of bribery, is a menace for any economy.
but its ramifications are way more severe for recovering economies like ours. Now, bribery is one of the hideous and commonest forms of corruption, however, it is very difficult to detect due to its clandestine nature, and sadly, it occurs across the globe in varying degrees. It brings about inefficiency in public administration, which affects public confidence and eventually hinders the growth of a nation, jeopardizing sustainable development and the rule of law, as well as deteriorating health and education. Now, it spreads inequalities and perpetuates long-lasting poverty. It can cripple the economy and undoubtedly a major obstacle for achieving prosperity. Even the simplest form of bribery is a crime against the nation. Now, Fiji is not immune to the perilous, perilous effects of this insidious form of corruption, as you know. Now, fighting corruption has never been easy. It requires a national psyche of honesty, moral courage, determination, and a strong will with carefully drafted laws and policies at the national level. Now, Fiji has shown its commitment to fight corruption by acceding to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption way back in 2008. Now, however, the political will alone is not sufficient to fight this menace. The will of the citizens of our country is paramount. It goes hand in hand with our patriotism for our beloved nation. If we truly love Fiji as patriotic, compassionate sons and daughters, and as a nation and people, then we should not be engaged in any form of corruption. The anti-bribery campaign depicts the motto, I don't accept bribes, and we intend to, to distribute the badges with a motto to all civil servants and employees of public bodies in Fiji, as you've heard the plea from the Assistant Commissioner. Now, the aim of this meaningful initiative is to encourage civil servants, not only them, but all of us, to openly embrace integrity and build a culture of resilience against the incitement to bribery. By wearing the badge whilst on official duty, we hope the conscientious civil servants will keep the motto close to our hearts, your hearts, and always act in a dignified manner. It also serves as a reminder to the oath that the civil servants undertake when you join the civil service. The design of the badge reflects the nature and purpose of the Fijian flag, which will also remind them to protect the nation from this evil phenomenon with sheer patriotism. I can see that the badge is designed in such a way with a noble Fijian flag in the center, covered and protected by the phrase, I don't accept bribes. The message is very simple and clear. By not accepting bribes, we are collectively protecting our beloved Fiji. Civil servants have a greater responsibility in protecting the overall integrity of the civil service as a whole. Now, if you have a culture of bribery, you have a culture of dishonesty. And bribery only attracts dishonest people. When you protect your integrity with the service you provide to the nation, not only are you safeguarding yourself, but the interests and well-being of your family and the country as well. Civil servants must have the courage to stand up and say no to bribery and take meaningful actions to prevent bribery by reporting. Bribery is a crime against our beloved nation. Similarly, my message and plea to the business community is this. There is a right way and a wrong way of doing business. Contaminating the civil service with offers of bribery will only undermine the transparency and accountability of the process you are dealing with. The final outcome of your actions will certainly affect the way you do business in the long term. The unfair competition you might breathe through bribery will surely betray you at a time when you really need the transparency and the accountability. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of our genuine and honest contributions to maintain the values and the principles of the civil service and good governance. Fiji has invested considerable efforts to address the impact of the COVID-19 crisis 
on our society and our economy. We have worked extremely hard with our partners in the business sector as well to tailor our responses to this present real, very serious threat to our social cohesion and economic recovery. And let us continue to remain focused and committed to ensure that all Fijians are safe and well at all times. In these efforts, we have come to understand that without addressing corruption and promoting integrity, the effectiveness of our recovery from the socioeconomic impact of COVID-19 may be undermined or limited. Now, thus, tireless promotion on the importance of transparency, accountability, and integrity has become an essential part of our socioeconomic response and recovery effort. I'm pleased to note that FICAC, in cooperation with the United Nations Regional Anti-Corruption Project, a joint initiative implemented by the United Nations Development Program, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime have taken a strong lead on promoting or in promoting business integrity in Fiji, including among youth and women, which has proven to be such an important aspect of addressing the socioeconomic impact of the pandemic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me digress here briefly. In addressing the recipients of our 50th anniversary commemoration independence medal recently, I reminded them that despite the traumatic and devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, we should not be discouraged nor disheartened, but celebrate in style nonetheless, because this is Fiji. We are Fiji, a resilient and very determined nation and people, which is confident that with Almighty God's ever-present love, mercies, and blessings, we will again overcome all adversities and continue to progress and prosper as a proud and developing independent sovereign state that continues to punch above its weight in our attempts to remain relevant and contribute positively to the successful resolution of some of humanity's challenges like climate change and today's problematic issue of corruption. Now, Fiji acceded to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption on the 14th of May 2008 as one of the first Pacific Island countries to do so and presented its first review of implementation of a UN anti-corruption in 2012. Fiji is currently finalizing its second review. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all agencies well and every success in this regard. Now, Fiji is also strongly committed to implementing the Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN since they were adopted way back in 2015. Now, all our work through UNCAC and through our public sector governance reforms dovetails well into the important Sustainable Development Goal 16 on peace, justice, and strong institutions. Now, SDG 16 sets a specific target to substantially reduce corruption and bribery in all their forms as a precondition for peaceful and inclusive societies. Our unique nationwide I do not accept bribes campaign strongly draws our attention to this commitment for us to achieve this targeted outcome. Now, equally important is our constant strive as a nation to ensure a stronger nexus between our anti-corruption issues and our development and good governance agenda. We are fully aware that corruption has a direct impact on the three dimensions of sustainable development, and that of social, economic, and environmental. Therefore, we know that without moving from commitment to action on the anti-corruption agenda, we will achieve very little progress in our national efforts to reduce poverty, promote social justice, and create more opportunities for all Fijians. Now, with these considerations in mind, we remain equally focused on horizontal integration of anti-corruption across all public sectors. Now, the campaign that we are launching today is also part of a public sector-wide initiative. At a national level, Fiji has a strong partnership with the UN 
project, which is headquartered here in Suva since 2012, under the umbrella of UNCAC and SDG 16. We have worked with the UNPR AC, a joint initiative by UNDOC and UNDP, supported by the Australian government and the New Zealand Aid Program, on numerous important initiatives to strengthen the meaning of our governance legislation, reviewing Prevention of Bribery Act, Proceeds of Crimes, Financial Transactions Reporting Act, Extradition Act, and Mutual Legal Assistance and Criminal Matters Act, among others. I'm sure the legal people amongst the audience will know all about this. We are also in the process of introducing the legal regime for Code of Conduct for the public sector and leaders, as well as benefit from support of the National Anti-Corruption Curriculum. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, let me once again reiterate that the campaign that we are launching today is about the importance of abiding by the highest principles of integrity and not accepting or receiving bribes in line with Sustainable Development Goals 16 and the requirements of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. I sincerely hope that this partnership and FICEX campaign with their training and workshops will provide the necessary forums and impetus to promote honesty and integrity within society. I'm confident that with the improved integrity, transparency and accountability of our civil servants will be recognized and be appreciated by our local communities and measured not only by the improved quality of this service delivery, but also by the improved lives of each and every Fijian. I call and I plead all citizens of Fiji to equally commit to our I don't accept bribes message, which is symbolically reflected in our Fijian flag. We all therefore must commit to this message with utmost dignity, pride and responsibility as we make history today May Almighty God bless you all. May God bless our beloved nation. Nawalevu, Sukriya, Bahodanevad, Fayakshan. Thank you. has also been clearly recognized recently decided to boost our anti-corruption.